Okay, first, let me make this very clear. Very clear. With anyone who comes across this video, let me make it very clear for you. I was not raised to be hateful towards other people, regardless of their skin color, regardless. I was always raised to be mindful, to be respectful, and to be aware. And as I get older, I am becoming more aware of who my so-called friends are. When I say friends, I mean my other friends who I treat like family because that's just who I am. Now you have a right to vote any way you please. But this last election cycle has been rough. And at this point in the game, we don't need the blue bracelets. We don't need the apologies. We have always fought for ourselves and we have always fought for others. And others have never really fought for us. We are fighting to make doctors be on point when it comes to our health. And still, we get mistreated and lose our lives because we're not valued. We break our necks as parents, trying to make a communication connection between our teachers and our children so that we help you to help our children to learn. But you don't respect that either. We told you what this was going to do. We told you what this was going to do. I don't need for nobody to tell me nothing about a man who was already racist. He ain't never give a rat's butt about us. Never have. So, you not in danger. The only thing you might be in danger of is this crazy abortion ban that's going on. Now you got to deal with if someone is in the midst of being incest or rape. You still got to carry that. Now don't get me wrong. I love having my kids. But to take a woman's right from her when it concerns her own body, that's a little rough. But we told you. But you didn't think we were intelligent enough or smart enough to be heard. You have always thought of us as maids, cooks, beneath your feet, not worthy enough, not smart enough. And then if we were in corporate, we were assumed to be aggressive, loud, ghetto. Somehow you thought that we didn't have the right to wear our hair the way we wanted to. So you thought that was your job to tell us how to wear our hair. But you was wrong. Did you see us telling you that? No. Back in the slavery time, we had to breastfeed your children. While you was getting a sheet or a towel wrapped around your waist to get your figure back. Your kids called us mammy and loved us because you weren't really trying to be their mama. Then you were mad 
because your husband, who was at the time called master, was raping us. We have, as black women, we have always fought for everybody. We've even had your backs. And let me get one thing straight here. Because y'all like to group us and lump us in all one one pot. There's a difference between black women and brown women. Learn that. Black women, black people are the backbone of the United States. There were black people already here before your people decide to steal us from another country. But here we are today. Obama handed over a great economy. And Trump blew it up. Joe Biden is leaving and handing him another great economy and now he's selling us out to Russia so you can't tell me that the reason why you voted for him was because his policy because he never had any policies at all so I don't know when you heard him I don't know when he mentioned him all I've heard is him take take uh, credit for Obama stuff or what Biden Harris done when he's done nothing. A lot of us died in 2020. A lot of us died because he didn't tell the truth about COVID. Not one bit when he knew about COVID in 2019. And for my brown sisters and brothers who chose to vote, I have to say you just didn't do your homework. But then again, a man who told you in your face and called you garbage, called you trash, somehow you thought that was amazing. And that made him the man. So you went and voted for him. Now don't get me wrong. Black people have this innate affection to love everyone they come across. And we take people in regardless of the skin color. Don't care. Because we look at you as our family. We look at you as, hey, they are one of us. We've always been that way. But we're not stupid. Since time. Every time we create something, you steal it. You take it. Every time we say something, our cultural, how we look, how we dance, how we move, you want it and you try to replicate it. Matter of fact, every other nationality likes to replicate what black people do in their culture. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. But the fact you would like to replicate and make money off of us is sad. We're good. We don't need the blue bases. We don't need the apologies. You knew what you were doing. You knew exactly what you were doing. And for all the Karens out there, be very mindful. Black women were warriors. We've always been warriors. Is it true that the movie Viola Davis did? Is that true? Oh, yes. Black women are warriors, and we know how to fight mentally and physically. Y'all have fun for four years. We gonna rest.